You know, I had decided on not doing my intro anymore because I thought it was dumb. I thought it was stupid to make intros to my videos like this. But then I thought about it some more, and then it's kind of awkward to start a video on a commentary format where you don't have an intro. You just start talking about what you want to talk about. Now, if you're making a video where uh, people are, you know, you're just playing a game with your friends, like what Hutch and Cnanners do, um, you know, that's a little different. You can start that just with talking because you're just going to get right into it. But with a video like this where you're going to kind of tell a story or whatever, I feel like you kind of need to have an introduction and then possibly a closing. It's just, it's just a little weird to not have one. Um, but I'm not going to use one. So, anyways... What am I going to talk about today? Well, I'm sure you've probably read the title of this video. And if you have, you already know what I'm going to talk about today. And it's the depressing topic of death. Um, why is he talking about death, you might ask? If it's depressing? Uh, I'll get to that. But, um, anyways. So, death. It's fun. Not really. Uh, it's depressing. It really is. And I'm sure just about everyone at some point in their life has, you know, just sat there and really thought to themselves, like, wow, I'm going to be dead one day. And it it suddenly gets very real. When you sit down and you start to think about something like that, like, there's nothing more real and frightening than knowing that one day, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try or how successful you are in life, there's nothing you can do. You're going to die. And you can't help it. Now, the one thing about death uh, excuse me. Anyway, the one thing about death is there are a lot of people who are religious, and that's fine. That's cool. If you're religious, that's cool. If you're not, that's cool too. But um, no matter if you're religious or if you're not, I'm. I mean, I might be assuming a bit much here, but I feel like just about every person has thought about, you know, what if I die and there is no afterlife? Like you can't really count on that. I feel like. I mean, you can truly believe what you believe, but I feel like just about everyone has that glimmer of doubt in the back of their minds. Um, you know, what if, just what if I die and then there's nothing left? That's it. It's really hard to imagine being dead because all we know as humans are our consciousness. Like, we know what it's like to see, to, you know, make memories happy moments, sad moments, to feel, to touch, you know, emotions, all this stuff. And, like, we can't imagine not having that and not being alive. Like, it's kind of weird to think that, you know, only this, you know, what's the average life? About 75 years? This is about 75 years from our birth, 75 years in the future. That's our time span. That's what we have on this planet, you know. It's just, it's a weird thought, and I'm pretty sure everyone's had it at some point. But most people don't like to think about it because it is depressing to know that one day you are going to die. Um, but whatever happens to you after you die, you can't be sure of until you die. Um, but I do find solace in one thing, and it's that if there is no afterlife, you know, worst case scenario, no afterlife, if that's the case then you won't have any consciousness and you won't be able to say to yourself man this sucks <laughs> man I don't I'm not alive right now man fr freaking hate this you won't be able to say that because you're dead it's gonna be just like how it was before you were born you weren't complaining because you couldn't complain and you weren't miserable because you couldn't feel because you didn't exist you weren't conscious and there was no you. And that's the worst case scenario, is that it's going to be like that again. And that is a very depressing thought, um, because I think about this from time to time, and sometimes I just sit down and really start to tear up, no, like thinking about this, that that's going to happen one day, and there's nothing to do about it. And it just gets very real. And I hope that everyone has this experience at some point in their life to think about this and just really really soak it in because it does change your perspective on things once you realize that um, but basically the point I'm trying to make here is is that death is inevitable and you only have one life 
and you have to make the best out of it. Now, I know that's a phrase a lot of people throw around all the time, like, like, uh, you know, you only have one shot in life, you gotta make the best out of it, you gotta be happy, and, you know, that's something that people say a lot, and it kind of just goes over our heads, because we hear it a lot, and we just want to get on with our lives, we don't want to think about death, so it just kind of goes over our heads. But, you really, like, really need to take what I'm saying right now and just take it to heart because it's very important. If you're in a, if you're at a point in your life where you're depressed or really sad about something, you have a yearning for someone and you're in love, but you just can't, you know, get that person that you love. I mean, instead of being sad about that, or maybe you just got out of a breakup or someone in your family passed away, um, while that is unfortunate, I'm not trying to tell you that your problems aren't important, but really take into consideration, like, is it worth spending all my time um, moping and groaning about this one thing that happened, or would it be better to get on with my life and enjoy it while I can? Um, I think the answer to that is pretty obvious. I mean, no matter what happens in your life, no matter how sad it makes you, just remember that one day, you know, it's you're not going to be able to be sad about these things anymore because you're going to be dead. Um, so enjoy life while you can. And I'm not saying go out and get drunk and you know party hard and do drugs or anything like that because that's bad. I'm just saying don't let, don't let the little things get you down. Even the big things, don't let them get you down. Just try to look on the positive side of life. And, and have a good time and be happy. But anyways, that's about it. I'm going to wrap it up right here. Uh, I have more I want to say, but the video's over. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later.